Hi folks, Gavin here from Player TV, and today I'm going to be taking a look at a... In fact, wait there. Let me make sure I'm actually fucking recording. And today I'm going to be taking a look at a new graphics card, and I'll use the term new very loosely here. This is um, the Asus Republic of Gamers RX 40, oh, RX 580 Strix OC Edition card. It features 8 gig of DDR, GDDR5 memory um, over a 256 bus. Um, and obviously it is part of AMD's new Polaris refresh range. Now, obviously this card, and I'm gonna start straight on the price and it retails for 280 quid in the UK or 280 pounds sterling and around 280 dollars in the us as well um so the pricing is in line with this model in terms of the competitors on in the rx 580 department um obviously we previously reviewed the gtx 1080 ti um strix which basically features exactly the same cooler which has been implemented on this particular card so we know the cooler is good um, and usually that's what you're paying the price for, you're paying for the overclock and you're paying for the cooler. So it features Asus's Republic of Gamers um, Strix Direct CU free cooling technology. It's got a triple fan design um, and as I've probably said in every video that features this cooler, it has the best implementation um, of RGB lighting um, through Asus Aura that, than we've seen in any other graphics card and this is probably the best looking cooler on the AMD platform. So yeah, um, the card is just over 11.7 inches long. So it's obviously a monster card. Um, and I would say in my opinion, it's aimed towards the 1080p and 1440p market, especially given the price of 280 pounds, I would expect to see it perform very well in 1440p benchmarks. But then again, the RX 480 was mainly a 1080p card. It didn't really, handle 1440p, 1440p very well and um, so it'd be nice to see if the increasing clock speed can change my opinion on that and obviously change the facts because facts are facts and opinions and opinions let's sort of look at the car so it comes with a 13 1360 megahertz core clock um it comes with an 8, eight gigahertz core um on the memory effective um so it's obviously a lot faster it's around 100 megahertz faster. One noticeable thing though, and I'm gonna pull AMD right up on it, you bloody slimy buggers, right? RX 480, 150, 150 TDP, 150 watts TDP. This card, 185 watts. So basically, they've added 35 watts onto the total power draw through the overvolting of the core, because obviously they've increased the voltage a little bit um, and obviously the little extra overclock whether or not that's important to you that begs to remain that remain that's up to you obviously let us know in the comments below um, but I'm really concerned about that um, I'm really not happy about that and I think that's pretty crap so in terms of power you've got an 8 pin power connector um, or PCIe power connector from power supply recommended wattage of power supply is 500 watts i would safely say 500 watts is probably good if you've got a good quality power supply depending on the cpu of choice it has a snazzy back plate pretty much similar let me just move that in fact it's exactly identical obviously it'd be hard pushed to tell the cards between this is an rx 580 this is a gtx 1080 ti it's effectively the same card the same size except one obviously is like four times the price um, and obviously a lot better performance. So, touching on that, connections. So, similar to the GTX 1080 Ti, in fact, exactly the same. You've got two DisplayPort 1.2s, you've got two HDMI 2.0B ports and a DVI-D port as well. So you can support multiple graphics cards with iFinity. Um, AMD obviously have got different things obviously if you're going to overclock your card use gpu um, i would use with this card i'd use gpu tweak 2.0 from asus 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 rog republic of gamers say however you want it's still the same in my opinion at the end of the day so we've seen the card we've seen how it looks what it's all about 
what it's got and my opinion on AMD's refining process. Um, but yeah, here's a test setup for graphic cards. Um, yeah, let's see how it performs in our tests and then I'll get back to you. So, performance is in and it's pretty conclusive. This particular card, the RX 580 Strix, is an absolutely beast card for 1080p gaming, but it still struggles a little bit on 1440p at you know 60 frames at high settings. You'll get away with you know medium to high settings. Um, obviously, Ultra is not going to play at 1440p, but smooth frame rate of 60 FPS, and it leaves me in quite a quandary really because you know. Vague AMD's Vegas cards are not currently out at this precise moment of the shoot in this video and obviously they're expected to be very good and um, you know NVIDIA GTX 1070 1080 like performance and I just I'm not I'm not the biggest fan of refreshes as it is but I think this is probably one of the poorest attempts at a refresh I've ever seen now don't get me wrong Asus have done an absolutely fantastic job the RX 480 Strix was brilliant the RX 580 Strix is brilliant, but it's not worth £280 or $280. The GTX 1060, which has better feature set, it's not as fast in direct DirectX 12 games, and that's apparent, but um, it's a lot cheaper, so it's it swings the roundabouts. It does, obviously, tickle my fancy a bit with a cooler designer, you know, and if you are... If you are buying a new graphics card and you want a solid 1080p card, you've got around, you've got under £300 to spend. The Strix is the best of the bunch, in my opinion. Um, it's, I still believe that the Strix card's the best AMD card currently on the market. People can disagree if you want. It's my opinion. Deal with it. And, you know, for 1080p gaming, this card is absolutely ample. One thing, obviously, as I mentioned, is the refine process. All AMD really have done is slap more volts on it and slap a higher overclock on it and said, yay, there you go, brand new card. It's, that's just, that's just lazy. Sorry, I don't give, I don't give a crap, really. That's just terrible. Um, the, the, the partners, like Asus, you know, they've, they've done a good job. Um, this is AMD's fault, so there we go. So, what do I like about the card? Well, the Direct CU free cooler is absolutely brilliant. It's cool, it's relatively quiet under full load, which is brilliant. Um, it doesn't make too much noise, as I've just said. It's a solid 1080p card. It's sketchy at 1440p, and it's really not designed for 4K at all. So if you're looking to spend, you know, £280 and you want 4K resolution, you want to play games at 4K, don't get this card, seriously. Um, the refining process of Polaris is 10 to the new Polaris 20, which is features in here. It's the same chip and, you know, you can actually flash an RX 480 Strix with an RX 5, 580 Strix BIOS and it works. We, we've tested it, we've got a video of it, check in the link in the description below. Um, so if you can flash the BIOS from an RX 480 and turn it straight into this card on the Strix, then why do we have a brand new card? Why not just release BIOSes that will work? You know, maybe not. But then again, AMD have got to make money. So I'd like to thank Asus Republic of Gamers for sending the RX 580 Strix graphics card in for review. I've been Gavin from Player TV. What do you think of this review? Please let us know in the comments below. Um, just to clarify, I do not hate AMD. I actually love AMD. I'm rocking an AMD system there. I'm actually using a Ryzen system at home. I'm just caught. I just call out bullshit where I call out bullshit. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and 
Ciao for now. Wait for Vega, completely wait for Vega. Hopefully the RX 580 prices will come down. Obviously the RX 480s are gonna get phased out and there. You can buy them pretty relatively cheap now anyway, um, thanks to these cars. So I'd go and pick, if it was my money, I'd go out and pick up an RX 480 in my opinion. That's just exactly what I'd do. And more importantly, I'd get the RX 480 Strix because Strix is the way it's to be, the way it's to be played, whatever. That's Nvidia's motto, isn't it? Whatever. <laughs>